chapter 8 human environment in this human environment we have discussed in chapter 7 what is transportation how the settlements happen what are the different means of transportation and communications now we will do case studies with different different regions of people staying in different places like in chapter 8 we will be discussing about the people staying in the tropical and the subtropical regions chapter 9 we will be discussing about the temperate region people and in chapter 10 we will be discussing about the desert region people so like this we will try to learn some basic idea about how are the lives of the people in different different regions of the world so the first one in chapter 8 we are now going to deal about the life of the people in the tropical region and later we will do another case study on lives of the people in the subtropical region for the tropical region we have taken the region of amazon basin so where is this region falling in as the name suggests it is very close to the equator that is from 10 degrees south to 10 degrees north so just 10 degrees latitudinal extent from the equator below and above that region we are taking for consideration and the here we are going to discuss about the amazon basin lifestyle here how is the life of the people near the amazon basin so we are not just covering only the amazon we are covering many countries many states which are staying in the amazon region so first as amazon name itself it is a name of a river so what is amazon basin amazon basin means a place where different tributaries of the river join together and create a large area that is called the basin so for that first we should know the mouth what is the meaning of the word mouth mouth is a place where once the river starts to flow it divides itself into number of tributaries and finally it joins into another water body or a river or a sea generally for a sea or an ocean where the river joins to the sea or ocean is called as mouth of the river and here we have amazon mouth or amazon river where it's joining into the atlantic ocean so before that we have the amazon basin in the states of i mean in the countries of brazil peru bolivia equator colombia and some parts of venezuela so it is covering nearly six countries that is the amazon river basin and how is the climate in this region the climate in these regions is extremely hot and extremely wet this equatorial type of region heavy day temperatures and sudden rains without any warning you get rains for hours and hours and it's almost wet the entire day and the days and nights are hot as well as humid the temperatures fall down at night drastically but still the humidity remains in the atmosphere there so there we find rain forests because there are continuous rains the forests are fed with the rains so we call them as rain forests these rain forests are generally very thick how thick they are means there is like the all the leaves together form like a roof and do not allow the sun rays go down to the land so here very little vegetation is possible which can be tolerant or which can be grown only in the very less shaded part of the forest that's why we call it as shade tolerant vegetation what are the plants that are grown here because there is no much availability of sun rays we have orchids and bromeliads which grow as plant parasites and we have the birds toucans hummingbirds which make loud 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 noises as the other birds do not make that much noise when it comes to the animals we have the animals like monkeys sloth and tapirs which are grown here these tapirs are ant eating tapirs we also have different kinds of reptiles like snakes crocodiles pythons and different varieties of insects and we also have a variety of fish called flesh eating fish that is the piranha fish which is a flesh eating fish so how is the life of the people here who are the people who stay in this region how are their conditions what are their occupations let's find out those now how is the life of the people in the rainforest region coming to the people what is the main work of the people here they started to clear the forest and men used to do hunting or fishing while women used to do agriculture they used to practice slash and burn agriculture what is the slash and burn agriculture first they select a piece of land 
clear all the trees plants which are grown in that region burn them and leave that one so once the entire place is cleared and burnt that soil is left with burnt ashes and all when the water droplets fall that ash goes down into the soil and adds nutrient for the land so that they can do cultivation once the cultivation is done they start to do cultivation for a period of 3 to 5 years and when they find that the fertility of the soil is coming down they leave this place and move to another place clear a new place and again start the same cultivation in the meanwhile in the old place the trees plants start to grow and the old land gets back the nutrients of the soil again back what it has lost the fertility what it has lost so this type of cultivation is called as slash and burn cultivation which has been practiced by the people in the rainforest regions so what are the crops that they are grown by them is like tapioca pineapple and sweet potato for commercial cropping they used to grow coffee maize and cocoa like in india we have potatoes which are growing under the ground which are grown the same food staple food for them is manoik which is also known as cassava which is grown here they also consume in food that is a queen ants and egg sacs coming to the houses how are the houses seen the rainforest regions the houses are thatched they are in the shapes of the bee hives and they always generally have steep slanting roofs even for their apartments so that the because of heavy rains that may let the water to come down and coming to the lives of the people earlier the lives of the people of the amazon people was not so known to the world but in 1970s when the trans amazon highways were made and made accessible the amazon regions to various other parts of the world it became clear for the people and development started to happen there the lives of the people in this region started to get transformed and if there are inaccessible to the roadways there are also helicopters and aeroplanes which make them to get reachable to the other places of the world in the amazon region and most of the indigenous population once the trans amazon highway has been laid people were pushed out for the settlements and they were forced to move to the new places and the developmental activities also like establishment of industries factories firms and all these things made the ecological imbalance also to clear and now most of the rainforests are cleared uh, because of the establishment of various industries and now there is no much forest available there so this is actually creating the imbalance in the ecological system in the rainforest region now let us do a case study of subtropical region place so for that we have chosen the life in the ganga brahmaputra basin so as the name is suggesting two different river names that is river ganga and river brahmaputra so the tributaries of both the rivers ganga and brahmaputra together form the ganga brahmaputra basin so from where to where they are located latitudinal extent the latitudinal extent of the subtropical region is from 10 degrees north to 30 degrees north for ganga and brahmaputra basin we have seen the tropical region from 0 degree to 10 degree south 0 degree to 10 degree north so we have taken the case study of the amazon basin there but here we are taking the ganga brahmaputra basin now what are the tributaries of river ganga gagra son chambal gandak and kosi are the tributaries of river ganga and the tributaries of brahmaputra together form the ganga brahmaputra basin where is this region located it is located at the foothills of himalayas and sundarbans the himalayas cover the entire northern region just at the foothills is below the region of the himalayas we have or south of the himalayas we have the ganga brahmaputra basin and what type of climate do we have here we have the monsoon type of climate present in this region that is from mid june to mid september we have monsoon rains happening at the other time we have hot summers and cool winters so we have three seasons here one the rainy season to the winter season followed by the summer season coming to the regions the ganga brahmaputra basin has mountains as well as the plain regions mountains are very difficult for the accessing of the common man to survive there 
because they are very high mountain ranges and plain lands are really very suitable and best places for agriculture because they are the most fertile regions of the time and agriculture is the main occupation of the people those who live here the commonly grown crops are paddy wheat maize sorghum gram millets etc the commercial crops are sugarcane and jute they also grow in some places assam and the other regions the teak while in the down the line bihar these regions we have the silk also grown in different parts coming to the vegetation what are the famous trees that are grown here other than the tropical deciduous trees the tropical deciduous trees shed down their leaves that's why we call it as tropical deciduous trees and they also grow here teak sal people and bamboo trees which are grown here and we also have mangrove forest covering the suburban regions or the coastal regions the forests which are grown on the coastal edges are known as mangrove forest and here we have cool climatic condition and the steeps are completely slopy in nature what are the animals that are found here the animals that are found here are elephants tigers deers monkeys these are the common animals which are found other than this specifically in some places like in the northeast we high we find one horned rhino while in the bengal region we find bengal tigers while in the other parts we find crocodiles alligators etc we also find fishes here different types of fishes because we have the coastal regions there fish that is rohu katla and hilsa are the different types of fishes grown here the staple food what they have is rice and fishes or wheat the cities there are many cities which has grown on the banks of river ganga and brahmaputra and which city has crossed more than 10 lakh population some of them are allahabad kanpur varanasi lucknow etc and coming to the transportation from four different ways this region is well connected and transportation facilities are very good here even the waterways are also supporting them and we have hugli port in the kolkata region also and other than all these activities agriculture fishing and anything we also have tourism one of the important occupations of this region for this basin because we have taj mahal on the banks of river yamuna in the agra uttar pradesh state and we also have the natural beauty scenario that is the confluence of river ganga and yamuna dalhabad where people come and look at here the buddhist stupas and the wildlife sanctuaries all these attract people from across the different countries and different continents towards this ganga brahmaputra basin region this is a brief description of the life of the people in the ganga brahmaputra basin if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus